Uh, Deborah Shepard was a senior at SIU. She was a young African-American woman with a bright and exciting future ahead of her. She had so many goals and dreams and to one day have a family of her own and uh, have a successful career and all of that was taken away. I had prepared for about two weeks for that interview and knew I needed to get it right. How you doing, Tim? Hi. Right. Tim, my name is Paul Eccles. I'm a detective with the Carbondale Police Department. Hmm. The thing that I remembered most was actually shaking his hand and realizing that's the hand that was around Deborah Shepard's throat. Have a seat. I knew he would be a tough interview. Uh, I knew he was very intelligent. One of the first things I wanted to do, though, was to intrigue him so that he wouldn't lawyer up to where I couldn't ask him any questions. Maybe you can help us out with something. Actually, it's a murder investigation. What year are you talking about? 1982. There was a murder which occurred at 418 South Grand. It was a black female. Do you remember that? And she was an SIU student. I figured that you were on the SIU campus, you might recall that. Vaguely. Vaguely. I want him to confess. That's the target. I want him to confess to the murder. This girl's name was Deborah Shepard. Does that mean anything to you? No. It was big news back in 1982. Okay. Well, the reason we're here today is recently we had a, a black male who got arrested on a drug charge. This guy tells us that he worked briefly at this nursing home with you and that we need to be looking at you. Black man. I knew that it would be essentially a, a mind game between me and him, but uh, I felt I was ready for it. On the night that this young girl was murdered, he was visiting his girlfriend at 418 South Grand Apartment 5. The girl that was killed was Apartment 6. He's pretty adamant that he saw you in that area that night. I doubt In his mind, he wants to hear what we've got while I'm trying to be coy and not let him know or see my hands. So you would not have raped or murdered Deborah Shepard? No. Would you have any idea who might have raped or murdered Deborah Shepard? No way. Now, you know, this guy's pretty believable. He's saying he actually saw you through the window inside that apartment. Wrong man. I have the wrong man. Tim, we, we actually have very, very good information. Since he brought this up and we've done some investigation, we know you killed Deborah Shepard. Oh, no way. We know you raped him. He's going to do everything he can to deny and uh, duck all of that while still trying to stay in the interview long enough to find out what I really have or am I bluffing. So if we test anything with DNA in there, whether it be blood, semen, something you touch. You find nothing for me. Nothing of yours is going to be in there. Dude. Sure. Well, not gonna happen. We got to a point where I did reveal that I had a DNA match. You ain't got no DNA match, because there is no DNA match. There is. That's right. Came back to you, Tom. Tim, why would we be here otherwise? I have no idea. Well, it's because of the DNA match. We have matched your DNA to this murder. He didn't believe it. So finally had to show him a copy of the crime lab report. This is a report that's dated August 13, 2007. It's from the Illinois State Police. And if you'll just read through it, you'll see that what they're telling me is this is a CODIS hit, which is the DNA database. And it shows that it's been identified to you. He still denied it. 
I still don't think that's a hundred percent match. By the time we got to that level, he asked for an attorney. What did this girl do wrong that she deserved to be killed? What happened? She wouldn't have even known you. You didn't have to kill her. Like me. Or did you go in with the full intent? Well, I, that makes a difference. You I go we, in. I think we need to end this right now. Just I'll talk to an attorney. It's make no sense to continue. What me? Our uh, questioning was over, and he did not confess. You want an attorney? Yeah. All right. It's 1221 on August 21st, 2007, and you're going to end this recording. Well, we left the prison. I was frustrated. I mean, now the family has to go through the agony of the trial. The next day, uh, I had a voicemail. Tim wanted to confess. That never happens. So my sergeant and I went back to the prison. We sat down with Tim Kreitzer. The only reason I'm here right now is for the Shepherd family. And at some point in time, you have to accept the responsibility of what you are and what you've done. So let's sit down with it. Uh, just simply, did you kill Deborah Shepard? Yes. It was a sexual assault. And I was wearing a mask. And as I was ready to leave, she tore the mask off. And I got scared and afraid of being caught. I killed my kids. How did you kill her? Strangled her. Strangled her. In my mind, geez, all the hard work and that everybody had put into that. We finally know who killed Deborah Shepard.